Part 1 looked at the major and minor scale step patterns using roots, ones and halves, and triad building using formulae combining the numbers of 4 and 3. We also looked at inversions and the importance of the numbers 1, 3 and 5. Let's explore the numbers of music a bit further. The C major scale has been extended over a range of two octaves and acts as a template for all unaltered major bass chords. The red circles outline the major triad, while the blue and green circles show the triad's extensions. Numbers 1, 3, 5 and 7 have the same pitch names as 8, 10, 12 and 14, namely C, E, G and B. Numbers 2, 4, 6 and 8 have the same pitch names as 9, 11, 13 and 15, namely D, F, A and C. The coloured circles correspond to the chords that are created by the maths addition formulae using the stacking of 4s and 3s. The Dorian mode acts as a template for all unaltered minor bass chords. The minor triad is in red, while the triad's extensions are in blue and green. Dorian can be viewed as a major scale, but with the third and seventh scale tones flattened. Notice how scale tone positions 2, 4 and 6, which are the same as 9, 11 and 13, remain the same in both the major and Dorian scale templates. Scale tones number 2 and 4 are reserved for the creation of sus chords, sus 2 and sus 4. Scale tone number 6 is reserved for creating add 6 chords. Scale tone number 7 is reserved exclusively for the creation of 7th chords. There are different types of 7th chord dependent on which scale you use as a template. Scale tone numbers 9, 11 and 13 are used for creating both add chords and extended chords. The major and minor scale tones of 1, 3 and 5 are used to create major and minor triads. These triad forms are the most stable harmonic building blocks in the musical vocabulary. We can use the stacking of 4s and 3s to create a multitude of different sounding chords which will cover all bases. You can literally stack the numbers in different orders and you will get some kind of legitimate chord. Here are just a few examples. Root plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 will create a major 7 chord. Root plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 will create a minor 7 chord. Root plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 will create a dominant 9 chord. Root plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 will create a minor 9 flat 5 chord. Root plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 will create a dominant 9 sharp 11 chord. Root plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 will create a minor 13 chord. Chord spelling makes sure that you have the right notes in your chord according to its name. The formula of using 4s and 3s to spell chords essentially produces a chain of odd numbered scale tones. A triad is made up from using scale tones 1, 3 and 5. A seventh chord is made from using scale tones 1, 3, 5 and 7. A ninth chord is made from using scale tones 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Once you have the correct notes of the chord, you can reorder the notes to sculpt the sound that you want. This is known as voicing. For example, the notes of a ninth chord could be reordered as 17359 or 17953, or any other way that suits your need. A thirteenth chord could be reordered as 111, 573, 13 and 9, or one could choose to omit a note, such as the fifth, for example, to create 1, 11, 7, 3, 13 and 9, or by dropping the 11th to produce an order of 1, 5, 9, 13, 3 and 7. We can even double scale tones to produce thicker sounding chords, as with this 7th chord, made from a note order of 1, 5, 7, 3, 5, 7 and 3. The root must remain at the bottom of the chord for the chord to be recognised as belonging to a particular key. If there's another instrument playing the root, then the root hasn't got to be in the chord at all. <laughs> 